if you are familiar with the SAG AFTRA strike, uh, you know it's a whole bunch of uh, writers, producers, uh, directors, actors and actresses uh, who have uh, the uh, protest uh, against uh, major companies uh, not paying them uh, fairly. And it's been going on for uh, quite a while now. Uh, and you, you know that uh, even Rachel Zegler, uh, who was uh, who was to play Snow White, uh, the Latina actress uh, who was uh, there acting, wearing a Snow White costume, acting all oppressed. That uh, people weren't endorsing that her her. Uh, ideology and uh, her viewpoints and uh, also the Canadian industry is also affected uh, because uh, we have the I can't I okay, know we have the ACTRA which is also the union where uh, media companies well Located in uh, Canada are also not paying as uh, writers, uh, producers, and directors, actors, and actresses properly. So uh, there's been uh, several uh, projects uh, where TV shows and movies uh, are to be released uh, has been uh, postponed uh, for a later release date until they can continue making them or film them in a certain location so because of this uh, 16 month uh, dispute uh, that pre prevents them from appearing in commercials from many of the uh, Canada's uh, largest ad agencies uh, And such uh, people such as uh, Kate Z Ziegler, who said that uh, I'm now in a position where I'm serious, very serious of uh, the risk of losing my home. Uh, which uh, Kate Z Ziegler does uh, commercial voice work. Uh, she says, like a lot of Canadian, my mortgage has skyrocketed. That combined with the loss of stable income that I've had has created a really challenging problem for me. And uh, not just the, the acting uh, thing that Kate Ziegler is talking about, but uh, Canada's income has uh, increased. Uh, so people are choosing to uh, leave Canada or um, and go to other places like Australia to uh, where it's uh, maybe more cheaper. Canada English uh, Language Acting Union and the trade organization representing ad agencies have been uh, unable to renegotiate a deal that set the rules uh, for actors in ads since the 1960s. Uh, though on the mediated negotiation, the hearing at the Ontario Labour uh, Relations uh, uh, Board and our ongoing uh, actors have said they've felt financial and career impacts or uh, work opportunities have been dwindled. The actors uh, note that the commercial work is uh, vital that, uh, for those uh, trying to make a living in the industry uh, in Canada. And the uh, dispute that going on is uh, Canada uh, doesn't uh, make these. Uh, it's uh, usually major companies with uh, branches uh, in countries uh, such as uh, McDonald's Canada. So they would hire Canadians uh, in, uh, to uh, feature in these ads. Uh, so it would be different than the uh, official uh, McDonald's, which is based in USA. So... Uh,
So what the ads you may see in USA compared to uh, the, the McDonald's ads you see in Canada are completely different. It, and they all have to uh, work with uh, the different uh, people and agencies to uh, produce uh, this for this major company. And uh, these agencies are currently represented by the Institute of Canadian Agencies, the ICA. And uh, and these are actors in uh, Canada who uh, have to speak English uh, are under the A-C-C-T-R-A. The lines of uh, Can Canadian uh, cinema, television, and radio artists are uh, the A-C-T-R-A. Since uh, the 1960s, uh, the A-C-T-R-A and the I-C-A well, worked together uh, under set of terms uh, outlining the National Commercial uh, Agreement, the NCA. Uh, so they uh, negotiate these every single year uh, that they didn't uh, do a reasonable, this is a new deal. So uh, this is this is when the strike happened, uh, just like uh, the SAG uh, AFTRA. So the ICA says on the website that through the incidents and torn. 2008, uh, which allows the uh, USA to use the uh, unionized Canadian actors when making foreign commercials. Uh, so they would have to use like a third party uh, company to emerge on their uh, behalf. And uh, new Canadian agencies that aren't members of the ICA uh, that can uh, use uh, non-union and union talent uh, they don't have to uh, sign to uh, uh, for it uh, to the agreement uh, And since this was not uh, dealt with, uh, they were just left it, uh, left it, and uh, this uh, issue starts uh, started. And since it's a uh, work, uh, the Ontario Labor Relations Board uh, came in, uh, where the ACTRA accused the ICA for uh, bargaining uh, using uh, foreign uh, relations uh, and uh, not uh, also uh, also having a uh, connection through uh, the Canadian uh, agencies so uh, they would have to uh, connect uh, also sign with the Canadian agency and also the foreign agencies to make the have a uh, Canadian you know, uh, after the uh, to uh, be in it as and also these productions and since they did they only uh, let uh, the IC a uh, use the third party uh, they can see the which is the uh, outside Canada and uh, that's why the ACTRA uh, filed a complaint with the Ontario Labor Relations Board, uh, which uh, they can they can control uh, just about any uh, piece of work uh, in uh, Canada. So, uh, so if you are a person now uh, who is working in Canada and uh, you're not being paid uh, fairly, yeah, the, the Ontario Labor Relations uh, they can uh, control everything. ACTRA President uh, Eleanor uh, Noble and ICA President and CEO Scott Knox uh, did not respond to the, the online uh, negotiations that have been going on. 
So, uh, Kate uh, Ziegler, uh, she said uh, she also had to do some uh, second and third jobs, uh, which uh, she uh, also uh, did a waitress job and also uh, he's trying to uh, becoming uh, certified as an inter intimacy co coordinator for film and te television, but that's uh, and uh, she says, to walk out and to try the comparable income elsewhere, it's been incredibly challenging. I'm an actor and an artist. I don't have a job, a lot of job experience outside what I've been uh, doing for the last 15 years. And uh, it is a requirement uh, to, if you want to have this uh, job, that, uh, that you want to have this job, but uh, you didn't pick this major in uh, high school, and you didn't go through this uh, college or university uh, yeah, you're going to have to start all over again. It's been pretty devastating, not just in terms of a life, livelihood and missing, but a career. Which uh, Dina, Dina Pino, who is uh, also an uh, actor, actor though, who uh, did uh, commercials uh, in uh, Toronto uh, before April 20. See, we're not hobbyists, no, we're professionals, we've uh, dedicated our careers to it. A third person, uh, Ilana uh, Dunkelman, said uh, in 2021, she's had 40 callbacks for commercial work. Uh, and she said, I've been a professional actor for the last 20 years. I've been an ACTRA member since 2003. I've invested a lot of time and energy doing a good at what I do, and this feels like absolutely devastating to me. So all these uh, actors and actresses uh, who uh, tried to uh, get these jobs uh, and they got notifications that uh, sure we've uh, selected you so uh, you can come in at this time but now uh, the fact that uh, people like uh, actress uh, Elana only got uh, three compared to the uh, 40 in uh, 2021 really shows a lot of something that's going on in the industry. Another actress, uh, Fiona, he had uh, did uh, theater and uh, used the commercial work to support herself, uh, which she said, doing voiceover, well, work uh, means that I was uh, able to work for the very low wages that independent theater actors make in the country, which uh, kept me in the business. And commercials uh, represent an important part of the industry uh, and are, are valuable to actors uh, for uh, reasonable beyond income. Which, uh, of course, uh, there's like the official uh, TV show and a movie. Uh, that uh, the, the actors and actresses are going to be in, uh, but of of course that uh, there's going to be advertisement. They're also uh, going to get profit off that. But of course the, the company that uh, is airing this stuff, they're also going to benefit off that too. So they're going to have their cut of the pie. Fiona says. I would not say that lateral success in their business is not financial, but actually visibility. Being on camera in a commercial is extremely valuable for to you as an actor. When that work is gone, it uh, doesn't feel likely to come back. Although uh, some uh, companies like the 
to see uh, which is uh, a Quebec uh, media agency uh, signed to the NCA. Uh, they were they were dealing with no issues. Uh, And some independent agents are that, that work with the union talent such as Rethink, uh, which handles the uh, advertising for A and W, IKEA, and Molson, uh, and other uh, major uh, brands out there. Josh Colm, uh, who is an editor at the Canadian Advertising Marketing uh, Trade uh, Publication uh, Strategy, has uh, said that agent. Agencies involved in dispute that might still product be producing ads that using non union actors or flooding them around the consumer testimonials, uh, user generated uh, content or animation that doesn't involve a voiceover. So they don't need uh, someone to uh, go uh, do like a talking role for like the 15 or 30 seconds uh, as a uh, And uh, because of this, uh, you may have been in a very uh, hanging on your seat. Uh, you can't wait to see like uh, these uh, productions uh, filmed in uh, Canada, such as uh, Welcome to Dairy, which is. Uh, a movie uh, that was the prequel of the It and the It Chapter 2 uh, movie that, that is filmed in Port Hope, uh, Ontario, Canada. That uh, is where the set was uh, all uh, recorded and uh, filmed in uh, downtown Port Hope area. For the first one, uh, 2017, and then of course the second, second one, uh, 2019, and uh, they were trying to film it, which they had like the set and everything, but July 12th happened, and then uh, SAG AFTRA strike happened, and uh, everything was scrapped. So if there were still uh, some uh, post posters uh, still up uh, that was for the uh, filming, but uh, such as like a fake uh, company advertisement uh, that would be still up, but uh, because of the Writers Guild uh, and the people who made the it movie. And it too, and uh, they're going to uh, make it. Welcome to Dairy. It's the same people from the uh, USA that, uh, unfortunately, they're uh, they're going to uh, postpone it. And who knows when they're going to officially film that movie? Murdoch Mill Mysteries was also filmed. Uh, Couple times uh, in uh, downtown Portal, and it's uh, all because like, the town look, is uh, very uh, old style, and a lot of buildings are uh, more than 100 years old. Uh, and and U.S. Uh, towns they don't really have that, so they uh, picked okay, let's just film it in this uh, small town uh, in uh, Canada. So they did it. So most likely, if when, if the strike is over sometime, they will, they might uh, do it again in uh, 2024, and uh, unless if it takes a long longer time, uh, 2025, by the likes of it. And uh, it will uh, bring uh, tourism uh, into uh, downtown Port Hope, uh, 
which uh, usually the people uh, who are usually come into the town are from uh, the GTA, Greater Toronto uh, area. And because of this, uh, that's why your favorite uh, TV shows and movies aren't uh, continuing. Which hopefully, uh, media companies will uh, come to a uh, conclusion where they uh, will actually uh, pay writers, uh, directors, and producers, actors, and actresses uh, who uh, do all the uh, hard work just to... Uh, Make a great production that we all uh, love uh, watching uh, in the theaters, on uh, the TV, on the big screen, or or exclusively on Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, or Disney Plus, Hulu, Crave TV. Otherwise, uh, it's all going to be shut down, and yeah, you know, we. Won't be enjoying anything.